what's up guys here we go with another shipment this is the first shipment that we got since we've been to asia what's up yeah, anthony what's anthony's here because he wants to see all the crazy fish that came in this shipment is so crazy and so big we imported our own asia guy to, to help us today who is this guy uh this is kevin's older brother what's up bro shut up totally yeah. look different the eyes look the same I was gonna, <laughs> this is our friend gary you probably saw the thailand video he was there with us in a couple of the videos visiting our partner sam and uh, saying hi to us. He's actually a very uh, successful man in Taiwan. Did you know he's a millionaire? No, but now I do. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta be nicer to this guy, dude. We can be a trillionaire, man. He's uh, ladies and guys, too. Uh, <laughs> I found out that he's into lady boys when we went to Thailand, so. Oh, Lord. You just enjoy as much as you can. That's All cool. right, back to the, back to the unboxing. I want to save the outer bag, okay? That's right, save the world one bag at a time. No, because we needed to ship the fish. <laughs> I'm not that good. <laughs> Question. Yeah. Anything crazy in the shipment? I don't know anything that's I, coming I, in I, here. I don't either. It, it's, it's, everything's a big blur. Shipments are coming in. Fish that we said we wanted that I didn't even know that we ordered when we were in Asia are coming in. It's like one big... So mess. guys, just to have an idea, it's 20 boxes. These boxes are pretty big, but we had to load it up. I mean... We, we unloaded a lot of the fish with the sale. Remember before we went to Asia, a lot of these tanks are empty. Literally, I haven't seen these tanks empty for the longest time. But we have this China shipment coming in, and then we have a Brazil shipment coming on Monday, then we have Colombia, Africa, Thailand, another China. So we're gonna be more loaded than anything, than ever. So you guys are gonna see a lot of super, super cool fish for the next few days, or maybe next few weeks. Box number one here, we have these are the Mammon or the King Kongs? Uh, I'm not even sure. That they're supposed to be the Young Bao, but I see some of them. Do you know what a Young Bao looks it. like? It looks like this one. Yes, yes, there you go. Little Young Bao right here. <laughs> a little? It's gotta be a big Young Bao. Hey, Jai, you're not gonna be Young Bao for much longer. No. We're gonna fix this. Are these the quality that we expected? They're round, they're nice. Yeah. They're Fejai triple A. Yep, definitely. Look at this. It's like a, a it's like a ball. Literally. All right, so the yellow here is medicine to calm the fish down through transportation. One per bag. It's pretty good. They came in looking pretty good. Great job, great job. All right, let's go box number two. Hey, Jai, what are you doing? I'm trying to print out the, the paperwork so I, I know what to need to call. He's trying to not work today. He's trying to like take a break. I know, That's because what it I'm is. here? Yeah, yeah. He's letting his older brother do all the work. What's in here, for Paris? I think so. I think these are the yellow ones. The whole box of carrots. So yellow ones? It's a mix. Red tiger, yellow tiger, uh, white. Oh, okay. So a whole... These are smaller parrots. White, yellow. Okay. Parrots are looking good. I like the markings on them. We got some white ones over there. Last time, the white's still pretty good, huh? Yeah, they did. Um, but there was supposed to be more. Oh, That's it? The tiger. Yeah. Next week. Next week, next week. What we got here? Bambooza and I don't know, something else over there. And this is a bag of bamboozas. They came in bigger than last time. Yeah. These guys will get to about five feet long. Great monster fish. They're not aggressive like a tiger fish. They don't have teeth like that, but they're still a pretty cool fish to have for a monster setup. What we got here? Are these Indo Dutch? Uh, yes. Four bar Indo Dutch. Oh, that's some bigger fish here. Yeah. This might be bigger than bamboozle. Yep, these are bigger bamboozle. Awesome. So if you don't want to grow some out, you got a couple of the larger ones available here. These are actually pretty cool. Parrots are all getting up. What's the quality of these uh, four bars, Vijay? Um, it, it's selected great. These were in the tall tank that he had. Uh, yeah, so they're four bars from Marcus. Enjoying the fish. <laughs> oh, dude, these are the red pike. Look how yeah, red yeah. these pikes are. No, they're unbelievable. Those are avocado, right? Yeah. It looks like a leak in them. Yeah, so we should just, Let's just get them cut out. the bag in. Yeah. Yeah. All right, what do we got here? Oh, Fijai, these are the Temensis hybrid? Yeah. 
All right, good size to Mrs. Hybrid. Should be the whole box. I'm gonna take him out so I can show it to you guys a little bit better. Spider cowberries in this nice individual packaging. They actually look, look really triple good. A quality. That's the only ones that we bring in. Look at that. Even Anthony knows. Fei Jai. Triple A. Did you, well, how did you say? How did you say in Chinese? Triple A quality or oh, I don't want it at all. <laughs> I don't know. How would you say that? Yeah. In Chinese. San <laughs> Eho. <laughs> San Eho. <laughs> San Eho. San it's probably means like something like we suck. Something. Don't say it. Don't say it. Triple A. Okay. Triple A. Toyo. Toyo. So guys, that's what it is. Triple A quality. Look at this production line. That's the way I like it. One cutting. One passing, one pouring, one and one talking. And one <laughs> That's the best way to work. What do you think about these guys? Looking good, huh? Yeah, everything's looking real good. Look, the dads are all getting up. Markings on these fish, man. They're amazing. I had uh, selected out some of the four, these four bars from my last shipment to grow out. Is that a three bar over there? The yeah, there's some three like mixed bars in here as well. Oh, cool. But I might have to swap out and pick some of these mixed bars now. Man, well, you got, you're worse than me now. Wow, these are really good guys. Oh, nice. What is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, no, these are regular body. Big clown loaches. Nice. What? You gonna put them up top or should we just make You wanna move these guys? Yeah. Okay. All right, so we're gonna start acclimating this huge clown load, which is we're gonna put the bamboozes away. So far, good. There's two, they're a little sideways. They're still alive, but I don't, I don't know if they're gonna make it. But the rest of them look pretty good. I'll probably just eat right now if we feed them. So we're gonna put these guys away and empty out the tank. Guys, this is probably one of the last few shipments we have coming in that we're gonna use this acclimation station. We served for many, many years. But the new one is going to be top notch. Are we going to save the lights? We should at least. No, we have better lights. Yeah. Oh, I can't wait. Sorry, baby. Are we open another box. Check this out. Look at the size of these clown loaches. At least 10, 12 inches. Super cool. I think we only have one, two, three, four, five, six. Six of them. Just over here. And then what do we got here, guys? Nothing. Oh, the redhead geos. Oh, yeah. So you're going to be very Those happy with nice. these. These are bigger size albino redhead geos, but super, super nice quality. Let's check this out. These are really, really good size. Let me get one here so you can see. Look at that. This one is at least four, four and a half inches. And these fish are super, super pretty. When they acclimate a settled environment, they look really good. So far, really nice. All the peacocks did good. The clowns, the parrots. We already put a whole bunch of fish away because we still have a bunch of boxes to put it away. I don't know if I showed you guys these. These are super rare. These are, are a mixture uh, hybrid between an MBU and a Fajaca. And we only were able to get two, right? There's no more. There's no more. That's it. Last of it. You think they're ever going to do it again? Nope. I asked. I asked them. I begged them. They said nope. So... But well, we're keeping one then. We already kept one from the last time, so these oh, two okay. will be available. So guys, this is it, the last of it. What we got here, Fajai? All right, we got some captive bred plecos. I've always liked captive bred because it's gonna be selectively bred for better quality. So you remember these little guys we saw in Asia? Yeah. All red tails. So this is really good quality, but besides this. The one is a little cold, maybe that's why they're cold there. moving. Ooh, these are not, what is this, Titanic? Yes, these are Titanics, bigger Titanics. These are the red Titanics. And then, oh, the water's pretty cold, jeez. Yeah. Um, these are larger. L600s. L600s. Yes, Gluteus. Yes, Gluteus. Baby Gluteus again. I think we, we owe one to a customer, no? Yes, we, we do. do. Sunshines, nice. 014. So you see, at such a small size, they got such great color. These are the opals, opal spots, L8082s. And. Ludius? Oh, I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe these are Ludius. Why is there two bags? I thought I only ordered one bag. Oh well. All right, so we got a bunch of uh, cool plecos. More. Oh, wow. L600. Let's get them out of the cold. Yeah, the water's really cold. All right, another box. All the plecos 
were pretty cold, but they're gonna be fine. I'll show you guys when they acclimate. What do we got here, buddy? Ooh, Ooh mascara. Yeah. Cold, yeah, good yeah, size. Mascara. Nice. Okay. Very nice color. Beautiful on. fish. Look at their faces. I say this is probably one of our best shipments with the Definitely. variety and the quality. Yeah. I'm liking everything so far. It's all unique stuff too. These are probably blue masseer. Yeah, it looks like. Very popular in Asia right now. All monsieur species. Albino, aerobarbs. Okay. I like boxes like this where it's like a variety of fish. More mascara. More monsieurs. So it's probably two of each. Yeah, two, two, two. All right, let's put that away. Jump to another box. Well, look at this. Look at the quality of these flecos. The Titanics to me are amazing. Look at the little guy. Look at the color of the net. Yo, you forgot about this one? No, I didn't forget. I was trying to. You know, we always save the best for last, and then well, and then I called Sam called and he yelled at me like, "Why the hell didn't we open this first? Because it's probably the most important fish in the whole damn shipment." Which so, I do agree with him. So the problem My is bad. a lot of the, the the fish came in cold, and this one is a one of a kind. I mean, we have it. A few of people have it already, but not this size. You guys are gonna love this. It's so big, we can even acclimate in this, those tanks over there. Here, Fijo, you want this? Thank you. I, I, know, I know they put more ice in it to keep it calm. I'm Dude. hoping, or I'm worried, that it may be too much ice. Let's see. All right, let's see this. I can't tell, I can't tell. Uh. Let's see, I, I went back and forth with Sam on it. He's like, don't worry, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. Yeah, at least he's not upside down. <laughs> yeah, but his tail, look, his tail is like... Yes, it's gonna have ammonia burn. Okay, I think he's alive. But he could just be frozen. <laughs> Come on, come on, come on, come on. You see breeding? Yeah. Okay, I just know from the previous times that we got big ones like this, we have to acclimate them slow. Oh. So this is a... Yeah, this you moved, right? This moved? This is a huge goonch, golden goonch catfish. We were going to keep it, but we sold it to a very special customer. Ah. Uh, but this is definitely like a showpiece. Yeah. Even even the pump was like, ah, oh, let me say something. Yeah, roll it down. It's alive, right? It's gonna be breathing. I think so. The water's pretty clean. Yeah. Guys, you have no idea. This is bigger than the box. This is an Asian hand. This is big, big boy. Oh, the water's really cold. Yeah, he's alive. I think that fish costs more than everything we put here so far, right? Oh yeah, it costs more than... Well, this is a big shipment, so at least the value of 50% of this shipment, at least. And we should have done that box first. Oh, this it's late, guys. Oh, what time is it? 3. 3 a.m.? That's why we forgot. 3.28. Okay. Smaller okay, albino no, wells. All right. Do they keep the back? This size? Ooh. No, this is actually pretty cool. This is a smaller golden grunge. We never get them this size before. Oh, I caught you doing that. <laughs> yeah, that's a good size. Yeah, that's a good size. Because it, it price is a lot cheaper. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 oh short so body, yeah. tiger shovel nose. Damn. Ah, oh, I can't see it. That's another grunge. Yeah, golden grunge. Another grunge. Another shovel nose. All right, so Wells, short body shovel nose, and Golden Grunch. Another great box. Everybody looks great. Uh, I don't know if you guys saw the, the Chinese China video that we did. There's a lot of short body fish. You have to understand, when they breed so many fish, some of them are going to be short body. And it's popular in Asia, especially places like Taiwan, right? Because people don't have space for a giant tank. So right. short body, they want to have the fish, short body is the option. Like all my, fi all my fish in the tank, it's all short body. Because a regular will make the density look higher. I mean the fish density. In the tank. So we prefer the short body. And, and maybe some of them are man-made, but short body is just like dwarf. 
you know, uh, the fish just doesn't grow. So when you're breeding so many, you're gonna have fish that are deformed with the fins, or fish that are short body, or fish that are albino, or fish that are platinum, um, or like even the stingray, you know, that we, we posted a video. A lot of people are like, oh my God, man made, you guys cut it. No, nobody cut the fish. It's just when you breed so many of them, some of them are gonna be deformed, and then deformity is actually beautiful. To my, my opinion, it's beautiful. Uh, we did a video at that uh, stingray farm, and that guy, Let's say his, his warehouse is probably four, four or five times bigger than our warehouse and it's all stingrays. So he breeds so many stingrays that he's going to get. He had about 12 bat rays just sitting in one of the tanks from breeding so much. Right, Vijay? Yes. Well, okay, so, so real quick. What do you, you bred stingrays your whole life. Yeah. What is a bat ray? Why are they born that way? Um, it's, a, it's a developmental issue when, when they're in the in the, the womb of the, the mother, um, where where the lip doesn't fuse together. So equate it to like humans that have a cleft lip. So it's just, whatever the reason is, whether it's nutrition wise, or they got injured because there's multiple rays in a mother at the same time. There's certain factors, but usually I think it's a nutritional thing and they weren't able to fuse. The, the, the so some babies might get more nutrients, more food, and then one baby is missing out. Yes. Okay. Correct. Correct. What is that? These are the blue Ooh. ones. These are nice. Rainbows? Those wow. are the blue ones. Oh, this is big. It's the same size as what we got last time, isn't it? No. Yeah, yeah, Gary wasn't here, so blue. So guys, we got a, a variety. Oh, these, these are, are really blue. nice. Yeah. These are all blue. Things. What about this? Blue, too? Yeah. Huh. Yo, how's the goonch? How's the goonch? I'm doing good. Just want to make sure uh, we give it some oxygen. All right, guys, while we're acclimating the goons, we're going to have to move some fish away. We're going to start with the albino arrow barbs, and the, these are actually red phoenix barbs, yeah, the little right. babies. Yeah. So really cool. We're going to move the big clown loaches, uh, the mascara barbs, the short body tiger shovel nose, and the albino golden goons. Super cool. We have a couple of them. They're about six to seven inches. It's the first time we got this size because we're gonna try to empty some of the tanks because we have more fish coming in. These are all rainbows, different species of rainbows. One prettier than the other. I have to say, even though these are super big, these guys so far are my favorite, the blue ones. Okay, so this box. This, so we got smaller albino arowanas and we have some short body ones as well. Mm, smaller, smaller. Oh, here, here are the shop body. Super cool. All right, over here we got a couple super nice red albino Chinese perch. What do we got there, buddy? Go ahead, pull it, pull it. Golden Severum. So albino Chinese perch and gold Severum. Oh, these are super red, Fiji. Looks like it, right? Yeah, these were the ones that, remember, we selected out. There was a couple, like, more red ones there. All right, so are we coming close to the end, guys? Got a couple fish here and one more box to go. Look how red these Chinese perch are. Yeah, that, uh, that was... Nice, super nice markings. On both of them, but that guy right there is crazy. Mm -hmm. Damn, they definitely didn't want to open this box. Oh. All right, we're almost done. The red Severin looks good. The minor arrows look good. Very, very minimal. I think the only DOA we had was the, the baby bamboozer, like three or four of them. Yep. Right? Yep. Everybody else is looking amazing. Right here, we have an acclimated year, but we have smaller albino, Asian albino whales. Ooh, what are you saying? We have a few of them with the Haka MBU hybrid. The Goons are still doing pretty good. All right, last box, man. Everybody's tired. What time is it? Actually, not that bad. Really? Yeah, it's only 4 25. <laughs> no, no, because Kevin was like, yo, I think we're going to be here until like 8 a.m. No. 
Well, we're almost there. We're almost there. What is the last one, Fijai? You know what type they are or no? No, but we can tell the difference by size. But we can make All right, so these are more rainbows. Some of them are going to be on the website, but like I said, some of them already sold. A lot of them already sold. So let me just give you a quick tour so we can put the camera down and start putting all this fish away. These are all different types of rainbows. Some big guys over here medium ones, the albino golden goonch, two short body, take a shot of nose, spider cowberries, Timensis hybrid, albino redhead top of Joe's, these are uh, golden severum, and short body albino arrows, smaller albino arrows and we have four of the super red albino chinese perch and here we have a whole group of plecos from baby luteus to l600 titanics sunshine and the spotted ones here are hey they're, they're called opal right opal the spotted ones are opal all right, so great shipping. Sam did a great job. We gotta thank him in Chinese. Hey, Jai did a great job ordering this fish. Hey, dude, I'm proud because you actually got a big variety. That's what we need, a variety. Look at it. This looks amazing. Guys, if you think Hey, Jai should be keeping doing more variety, we have a Brazil shipment coming in. I did get a bunch of varieties. So if you like the varieties more than quantity, don't forget to give us a thumbs up so we can keep doing this for you guys. I hope you enjoyed. We gotta take care of this big dude here. Put the camera down and put the fish away. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.